Hi, I'm Dorothy Neufeld with the Investing News Network, and here with me today at the Extraordinary Futures Conference is Guy Helford Thompson, CEO of Pepper Esports. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. So I want to first start off by talking about the story behind Pepper Esports. Sure. How, how did it all begin? Yeah, so I think like many many people, I grew up gaming, um, and there's you know there's always been a lot of challenges in the gaming space. I remember growing up, you know, we would grab our computers and you know lug them to our friend's house and have these kind of LAN parties, um, and you know now. Is there's still a desire for people to game. We're seeing a lot of, especially millennials or young kids growing up, they're playing Fortnite, uh, they're watching these big events, they're watching people stream on Twitch. Um, and as this industry scales, there's a, a lot of challenges that are, are kind of plaguing the industry. You know, we think of these games as these very big, modern, fancy graphics, powerful computers, but then when it comes to these events that more and more players are playing, it's, the events are actually run in a very manual and kind of arcane way. Things like score tracking, registration, the, the event management is a very manual process. And so with Pepper Esports, uh, we're bringing a technological solution to uh, enabling players to actually have a fun, uh, tournament experience uh, and for people that are putting on events whether it's venues or leagues or one-off events a much simpler and automated way for them to run the events so they can run the events uh, through our platform a lot easier without having to have a lot of manual processes. So you currently feature at least three games on your site. Yep. Can you tell me more about these? Yeah, so right now we've launched with Fortnite, uh, which I think everyone's heard of. It's one of the most popular Battle Royale games out there. Uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, which is often abbreviated to PUBG, uh, and Apex Legends, which I guess is the newer uh, game in, in those three. It launched a few months ago and uh, again is a Battle Royale game. So those are the three that we support right now. They're all Battle Royale games. We're also adding uh, some new games to our platform, including League of Legends, uh, Counter-Strike, Overwatch, some more traditional uh, team-based games, which we'll be adding uh, over the next few months. Interesting. And in the past, you have taken BTL Group Blockchain and Neptune Dash Nodes public. Can you tell me about this process? So, about the Go Public process? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something I think a lot of people find quite scary. Um, you know, it feels like a lot of work. You're taking a company public. Uh, one of the great things that I like about Canada is there's this really great ecosystem for uh, the public company, well, taking a company public as an avenue to growing a, a startup. You know, we don't talk, typically think about startup companies in the public markets, um, but Canada, I think, is, is really one of the best places in the world to uh, to take a, an early stage company public. Uh, so as you mentioned, we, you know, I, I took BTL public back in 2015. Uh, we took uh, Neptune Dash public in, in the crypto space. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's a process that there's a lot of paperwork you know, that can't be avoided, but it gives you uh, access to a lot of investors in Canada that uh, you don't have access to in the private market. And, and also it, you know, it puts you in a position where the value of your company and what you're doing is very transparent. You know, as a public company, you, you are very transparent. People can see your financials, they can respond to what you're doing, and the value of your company is reactive to what investors think of your current business plan and your current program. So I, I think it's a great way to build a company. So does do you, ha do you have plans to go public in the near future? For Pepper, absolutely. We plan to take the company public uh, in March, March end of March next year, uh, depending how many clients we have signed up. Uh, but absolutely, you know, we're, we want to scale the company fast. Uh, you know, we have a lot of interest at the moment from people wanting to use our software. And I think that in Canada, the very best way to do that is to go public uh, onto one of the venture exchanges and then use that as a platform to scale. So in terms of the competitive gaming market, what would you say are some of the misconceptions that you're seeing? So I, I think that there's a, people don't quite realize how big 
the gaming industry is, and especially the esports industry. Uh, you know, we're in Vancouver right now, and uh, you know, anyone that I meet, I ask them if they're aware of the uh, Dota International event that happened last year in Vancouver. And you know, most people, even in Vancouver, have never heard of an event in Vancouver uh, that was held at Rogers Arena, which had a prize pool of forty million dollars which the, you know, the, the final team walked away with well over $10 million. Uh, you know, we just had a Fortnite event, which had, again, another multi-million dollar prize pool. Uh, in 2019, I think the total prize pools for Fortnite tournaments is over $100 million. And people just don't, uh, can, you know, unless you're a gamer, it's very easy to miss the size of the industry. So I think that's the first misconception is there is a huge, huge industry that's already here that people aren't really aware of. Um, the other misconception I, I think that uh, you know is, is really important is uh, you know the way that gamers interact with the games. Uh, players want to play competitively. Uh, you know it's one thing to be competing online, you know, playing against a game, but as a, as a spectator. I'm watching these events, whether it's on Twitch or on TV. There's these huge stadiums, these lights, these you know these great experiences. The you know the players up on stage. I want to be able to experience that. And so there are gaming venues that are cropping up all over North America. There's a lot already in Asia and, and in Europe, where as an amateur player, I can go and play on a fancy gaming PC in a venue and have that experience of playing the tournament. And uh, at Pepper, that's really what we're uh, focusing on is giving those players or enabling the venues to give those players a proper tournament experience by using uh, some really interesting and fancy technology to make that player experience really smooth. Interesting. And, and where do you see the esports market going? So, uh, Markets like this are driven by uh, the spectators. You know who's watching it, who's involved in the industry, and you know, we. A lot of people grew up watching sports, and that's that's what drives the sports industry. And now people are growing up watching esports, and that's what's driving the esports industry. And so I think we're going to see esports viewing become much more mainstream. Uh, you know, Twitch already has uh, more viewership than. Amazon and Netflix combined, you know, the amount of, of actual uh, footage is consumed. It's, it's behind only YouTube, I think. Uh, we've seen Amazon launch their own uh, streaming service. We've seen Microsoft launch their own streaming service. And very soon, I think we're going to see networks cover esports as well. This is already happening in some countries in Europe where national network TV will cover esports events where that country's esports team is competing. Um, and that is really going to start to drive the industry forward. And so I think we're going to see eventually esports start to compete with traditional sports on a viewership level. Interesting. And how about future plans for Pepper Esports? So for Pepper, right now we're focusing on uh, making that player experience better. Uh, we're signing up a lot of venues to our platform. Ultimately, we want Pepper to be the go to place for players to discover online and local events. So if, if your game is Fortnite or League of Legends or PUBG, you can go to Pepper or our website is pepper.gg. It's a, a gaming terminology, so pepper.gg. Uh, and you can find either an online or local event that you can go to attend. And at that event, you know that you're going to get a good experience because that event, that place is using the Pepper software. So for Pepper, our, our long-term goal is to be the go-to place to discover and play esports tournaments. Well, thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me. Once again, I'm Dorothy Newfeld with the Investing News Network.